It's almost time for another semester to begin at IUP. We will all be together again, whether on campus or virtually. It's not the way we wanted things to be, but it's what's best at this time. For those coming back to campus, we want to highlight some of the safety precautions that will be in place. We've been busy making sure our campus is as safe as it can be, so that you are as safe as you can be. And frankly, you deserve that. Staff from our maintenance, custodial, and health services departments, plus the offices of housing and dining, have been working hard getting the campus ready for you, and we can't thank them enough for their time and dedication. To help each student do their part in protecting themselves and others, every student will receive a student safety kit. The kits contain washable face coverings, hand sanitizer, a thermometer, tissues, and more information on other ways to stay safe. Masks or a similar face covering are required when anyone is inside any campus building or outside when social distancing is not possible. That goes for students, faculty, staff, and visitors. It's a small way for each of us to make a big difference. Many lecture classes will follow a hybrid model which means they will be divided into smaller groups that rotate between being physically present in the classroom and being connected via Zoom or similar technology. In most of our classrooms, we have installed Meeting Owl Pro smart cameras, which can capture 360 degree video as well as audio for a better online experience. It can split your screen so you can see who's speaking or you can use a panoramic view to see the entire class. Signage has been placed, asking everyone to maintain a safe distance from others. Where it's possible, one-way traffic flow is indicated, and stay-in-your-lane markers with directional arrows are displayed. Elevators are limited to three riders per trip, with priority given to anyone with disabilities. We'll be constantly cleaning the buildings, with priority given to high-touch surfaces like door handles, elevator buttons, bathroom stalls, and stair railings. When you're hungry on campus, all open locations allow mobile ordering through the Grubhub app. Order before you arrive and pick up when it's ready. North Dining and the Hawk Hub Food Court will also allow face-to-face -face ordering with limited seating open at North Dining. The pods will still be open for limited groceries and you can get a grab-and-go bag at Folger Dining Hall. Most students who live in residence halls will have a private bedroom or bedroom spaces. Some students will also have a private bathroom. We'll also be cleaning and sanitizing the gathering spaces in all the buildings so you can still work together at a safe distance. If you need to visit the health center, you'll need to make your appointment ahead of time. No walk-ins will be allowed. You can also call the health center and request a telehealth visit where you can talk directly with a nurse practitioner or physician. You'll also see temperature check kiosks around campus available for your use. They are not mandatory, they're simply for your own quick and accurate discretionary use. The library will remain open to students. You'll need to request books you need at the front desk. Study spaces will be limited and spaced for social distancing. Java City will be closed. Most areas and offices in the Hub will be open with limited operations. The Hub Fitness Center will be open with limited hours. Wellness checks will be performed when you arrive and it will operate under limited capacity to allow for appropriate social distancing guidelines. The Co-op Store will be open August 14th and 15th from noon to 4 p.m. You can pick up books that you ordered online. Other shopping will be allowed at limited capacity. Things are still happening around campus in person and virtually. Check out Crimson Connect or IUP's social media channels for more information. We don't expect you to stay on campus all the time and many of you live off campus, but we all still have a responsibility to protect ourselves and others no matter where we go. If you spend time at restaurants or stores, please follow the same precautions that you would on campus. Wear a mask, wash your hands, practice social distancing. That doesn't mean you can't spend time with your friends, but please be careful. If we work together, we can get through this. That's the way IUP students, faculty, and staff have always approached things, and this is no different. Help each other, 
and help stop the spread.